Hey guys, it's Kennedy and welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? It's quarantine day four and I'm slowly losing my mind, but it's okay. I'm doing another J.R. Ward reading vlog just to keep my sanity because I haven't been reading much on this quarantine. I don't know why. I feel like with such like the bad timing of everything, I just don't feel like I could really enjoy stuff, but then that's also wrong because I feel like I have the time and the energy to enjoy a lot of things. So it's just a weird time for me but I'm gonna be reading Lovers Revealed by J.R. Ward. If you haven't already seen my my J.R. Ward vlog for the first three in this Brotherhood series I would highly go recommend you go check those out or if you just want to know what my thoughts on the next three books of J.R. Ward then continue on watching. This is about Butch O'Neill and Marissa. They've been in all of the other books and so far Butch is my least favorite character right currently and I really was like kind of bummed about reading this just because him and Marissa's storyline in the last three books like hasn't really evolved and I guess that's why he's getting his own book but like I just don't see where it's going and I don't know if I want to read about a human and a vampire or I want to read about vampire and vampire because amazing yeah so I'm gonna start this and we'll see how it goes but I think this is I'm not gonna like this one as much I think I'll rate it probably like I rated the first book because I didn't like that the best lovers revealed I'll let you know how I feel about it but wash your hands and stay safe and I'll let you know how it is little update I'm currently reading lovers revealed and I just have like a few thoughts it's all about Butch's story which is the human with Marissa and did anybody feel like we could have gotten a really good Butch and vicious story that would have been amazing but of course these books are very hetero and not homosexual so to each his own but I'm just saying like the love story that could have been between Vicious and Butch because they're best friends like it could have gone there but it didn't but that's fine so there's that also there is a blood sucking scene in here that's like kind of perfection because it deals with like other people it's it's very good I highly recommend as I predicted this is not my favorite at all <laughs> it's not like I'm not gonna say bad as the first one like I like the first one I think less than this one but this one definitely comes in at my ranking of like second to least liked. I think it's just because I really didn't like Butch as a human. The whole plot is him trying not to be a human and be a vampire. I'm about to spoil it for you which you know it's been out for years whatever. He becomes a vampire eventually. I'm already significantly liking it better of him as a vampire like significantly. He turns into a vampire this far into it. That was like the main plot and I get there's like bad guys and you still have to figure out what's kind of wrong with them but like I don't know what else there is to do. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna let it go. I'm excited for V's story, Vicious is story, because I feel like he's coming next. So also Revenge. I can't I, I can't ever say his name because I just want to say Revenge. But I think that's how they say his name. I'm just gonna say him. I'm also waiting for his story because like he is so fascinating and I love him. So anyway, my thoughts. I'll let you know when I finish it. And I finished. Whoop whoop. I finished Lovers Revealed. Three stars? I'm not. It was fine. It kind of just set up a whole bunch of other people. It set up Revenge. It set up Vicious. It set up John. So it set up other people more. I think for their books coming because those three are definitely getting a book. Like I said, Butch is not my favorite. Three stars wasn't my favorite so I think this is my ranking now of them so far. I think the next book is about Vicious and I'm very excited so I think I'm gonna start that one because I know what I'm getting into. I really want him to find love because in this book all he wants is someone to love and not like quit playing games and like love someone so I like that I want I want him to love someone too I'm gonna go read that one okay hi it's a weird angle but we're just gonna do with it I finished Lover Unbound by Gary Ward about Vicious and Jane and again wasn't my favorite I expected a lot more from this story and just when I thought that J.R. Or, or Ward couldn't find another way of someone living forever and being like a part of this mystical world I was wrong she made a choice for Jane and okay we'll see how it goes but it wasn't my favorite I think I liked lover revealed more than this one because in and that's a lot for me to say so I think my new ranking is Raph story as least liked, then this one, then Butch's, 
and then my top three. Yeah, that's crazy. It wasn't my favorite, but I really liked the setup for Fury in this because I think he's the next book. I think so. I think Fury's the next book, or I'm hoping. I'm hoping Fury's the next book because it did all this setup for Fury and also doing a lot of setup for John and a little setup for Reverend Reve Revenge. <laughs> It wasn't my favorite. These two are just not my favorite. But like, I like the other characters surrounding these two. Like, I'm glad Vicious is happy, but like, I, I wanted him to be happier. That makes any sense. We'll continue, I guess. I don't know, I was expecting more of a revelation, but there wasn't really any. So now I'm just kind of left kind of unsatisfied, if I'm not gonna, if I'm gonna be honest. Like, when something happened, like here, and I thought, okay, this is it. This is how it's gonna be. Like, I'm actually okay with that because of something that the scribe version, which is like their god, said. But then, J.R. Ward had to come and undo, redo something. It's just like, then what was the point of that whole thing? A whole thing. Anyway, anyway, let's go on to the next one. I apologize for the bad lighting, but currently my camera is broken so we're gonna have to be doing what we're doing on the phone so that's gonna be a new experience but I finally finished Lover and Shrine by J.R. Ward I don't know why this took me so dang long but it took me what two months to finish geez I was at like 50 pages for so long if you don't know what this one's about it's about Fury and his story I did not like this one as much as I wanted to. I liked where they were kind of going in the last book, but I think the fact that it was boring, that his like portion was boring, so I kind of lost interest. There was just so many storylines in this that I, I, I lost track and I don't even know where they went, honestly. I, like, yeah, Um, the only thing that kind of saved this for me was John, John Matthews, John something, John, John's um kind of arc in this because I think he's the next one. I believe Lover Avenged is the next one. Oh no, it's Revenge. So I guess John's not coming. Didn't really like it as much. I think this is my lowest one yet, which is bad. I feel like I'm gonna give this one a two. The only thing I really liked about it was John and like just like a particular scene basically when he's like finally like grown some balls and decided to fucking come on to what's her name Xia Xenius Z I X H E A X something like that I don't know I don't know how to say her name I'm not gonna even try I'm just gonna call her X I think other than that didn't really care for anything else I like the main woman protagonist in here obviously I am such a good reader because I already forgot her name Cormia Cormia was fine I feel like she like should have had a backbone. Um, Fury got on my nerves. Again, Zadis was amazing and he has a life-changing moment in here which is great and I really like that. But other than that, I got through it. think this one's next. Don't, don't come at me if I'm wrong. But it's Revenge's story. Revenge had some arcs in here. Some to-dos in here. But I don't know for sure if I'm liking where he's going so we'll see I mean I I don't know so yeah I'll leave it at that I'll do a little wrap up tomorrow probably from the same angle I don't know we'll see okay let's wrap this up because I got things to do <laughs> and books to read. So I read these three books, Lover Revealed, Lover Unbound, then Lover Enshrined. These ones I read pretty quickly. I gave both of them a three out of five stars. They were okay. This one I actually ended up liking more than I thought it was since it's about a human and I didn't think I'd like it as much. Didn't nerve me as much as I thought it would. This one I expected a better ending and I didn't like the way she made this eternal life thing with the main girl character. Just wasn't my cup of tea personally and then this one took me like two months. Yeah so this one I think this is the lowest rating I'm giving all of them. This is my current stats now of where I stand with this series. I have the next three. I will probably definitely continue on just because revenge is really interesting to me and also John there's been so much upscale for John Matthews and we haven't gotten his book yet and I don't understand why she keeps putting in so much John Matthews if she is not gonna, you know, bring out the book. 
So I think that's one up there. Also, um, Tor is back, and if you know who that character is, he is amazing, and after the third book in the series, after Butch's book, the one before Butch's book, he doesn't show up. He's like kind of like on a, a escapade. Bruh, he's back, and I kind of want another story about him, because if you understand where his storyline went, he's kind of up in the air at this point, and I want that story. That's like the one that, like, the one character, if you cut to a clip of my first vlog of this, the other one made me swoon. The other brothers in his brotherhood made me swoon more. Especially Tor, like that man can just take me anywhere. Where I said Tor is everything and then he disappeared. And I need him back and he's back and I'm grateful. But anyway, that is this wrap up. Um, I apologize for the quality of the video camera because it's on my phone. So anyway thank you for watching um i'm probably gonna do another one of these hopefully it does not take as long as this one did i read these two almost immediately after i finished that first vlog and then i read this in two months so here's to hoping for a better day anyway have a great day like and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys